Let's look at questions from the second exercise now. Question 1. Talun can cover a certain distance in 1 or 24 minutes by covering 2 third of the distance at 4 km per hour and rest at 5 km per hour. What is the total distance? Now most of us will start by saying let the distance be equal to x. Perfectly fine, but not the best approach. Let us look at what should we be doing. Let's go through the data first. It does two third of the distance at 4 km per hour and one third of the distance at 5 km per hour. Now since the distance are broken in two third and one third, so it would be advantageous for us not to take the total distance to be x but 3x, which means this becomes 2x kilometers and this becomes x kilometers. So the total distance should be 3x. This will help you get rid of the decimals and your calculation will become easier. Now the total time taken for the journey is 1 hour 24 minutes which is equal to 1.4 hours. 24 minutes is 40% of an hour or 0.4 of an hour, so 1.4 hours. So let's equate the time taken. For this 2x kilometers, how much time will be taken? Speed is equal to distance upon time or, or time is equal to distance upon speed. Just apply this formula. For the first 2x kilometers, the speed is 4 kilometers per hour and for the balance x kilometers, the speed is 5 kilometers per hour. This should be equal to 1.4. Solving this, you will be able to get that x is equal to 2 kilometers. And the total distance, the total distance is nothing but cx, which is equal to 6. Correct answer becomes choice C. Now, it is this calculation which some of you could look at doing differently. For example, many of you will be using fractions. When you are using fraction, using fraction you will say x by 2 plus x by 5 is equal to 10 5x plus 2x equal to 7x by 10. But you could have also also said this is nothing but 50% and this is nothing but 20%. So 70% is equal to 1.4. So if 70% is equal to 1.4, this implies 100% should be equal to 2. Both will give you the same answer. If you are comfortable with fraction uh, with decimals and percentages, this is the preferred method. Else the fraction method in any case is available to you. Question 2. If a train runs at 40 km per hour, it gets late by 11 minutes. And if it runs at 50 km per hour, it gets late by 5 minutes. How much, uh, I'm sorry, if the train runs at its correct speed, how much time will it take to complete the journey? Okay. So if the speed is 40 km per hour, let me assume that the scheduled time is ST. So in the scheduled time plus 11 minutes is what it will take. Okay. But when the speed becomes 50 km per hour, the train is not late by 11 minutes, but is late by 5 minutes or the scheduled time plus 5 minutes. So I can say it saved 6 minutes. 6 minutes were saved by increasing the speed from 40 to 50 km per hour. But let's go back to our ratios. What is happening to the speed out here? Speed is becoming 5 by 4 times. Speed is becoming 5 by 4 times. If speed is becoming 5 by 4 times, that means the time should become 4 by 5 times. Okay. So if at this speed of 40 kilometers per hour, it was taking x minutes. Let me assume it was taking x minutes at this speed. That means at this speed it should take, at the speed of 50 it should take 4 by 5x. Okay. I hope this is clear. If the speed has become 5 by 4 times, the time taken should become 4 by 5 times. If the original time taken at the speed of 40 km per hour was x minutes, that means the time taken at 50 km per hour should be 4 by 5x. Which implies saving in time, saving of time will be nothing but x by 5. Originally you were taking x minutes, now you are taking 4 by 5 x minutes, which implies you are saving x minus 4 by 5 x, which is 1 by 5 x. Or you could say, if time has become 4 fifth of the original, 
That means if earlier you were taking 5 minutes, now you are taking 4 minutes. Or you are saving 1 minute for every 5 minutes. Okay. So what is the total time saved? Total time saved is x by 5. But this is equal to 6 minutes. Which implies x is equal to 30 minutes. So at the speed of 40 kilometers per hour, the time taken was 30 minutes. The question is, if the train runs at the correct speed, where, in how much time will it complete its journey? But when it is covering the distance at 40 kilometers per hour, it is laid by 11 minutes. So since the delay or it is laid by 11 minutes, that means the normal time for the train should be 19 minutes. Correct answer is choice D. Question number 4. In a 100 meter race, Sujit beats Rishi by 5 meters and Rishi beats Praveen by 5 meters. By what distance does Sujit beat Praveen? Okay. By what distance does Sujit beat Praveen? Okay. So you have Sujit, Rishi and Praveen. If Sujit beats Rishi by 100 meters, that means when Sujit does 100 meters, Rishi would do 95 meters. Similarly, Rishi beats Praveen by 5 meters means when Rishi does 95, I'm sorry, Rishi does 100 meters, Praveen would do 95 meters. By what distance does Sujit beat Praveen? Okay. Now, which also means when Rishi has done 95 meters, Praveen will do only 95% of that because when Rishi runs 100 meters, Praveen runs 95 meters or 95% of what he does. So it should be 0.95 into 95. Or in other words, we can say from Sujit to Praveen there is a decline of 5% and from Rishi to Praveen again there is a decline of 5%. So this is similar to saying these are two successive discounts of 5%. Successive discounts or decrease of 5%. So these are two successive discounts. And which means two successive discounts of 5% will be A plus B because discount. So I will put a minus plus A into B by 100 which is equal to 9.75%. Or if Sujit runs 100 meters. Praveen will run 9.75 meters less. Okay. So by what distance will Sujit beat Praveen? He will beat Praveen by 9.75 meters. Let's go to the next question now. Question 5. Pallavi beats Anuva in a kilometer race by 50 seconds and Richa by 450 meters. If Anuva and Richa run a kilometer race, Anuva wins by 40 seconds. How much time does Richa take to run a kilometer? Okay, so we need to find the time taken by Richa to run a 1 kilometer race. Okay. Let's just understand the initial statements first. Let's look at the first statement. Pallavi beats Anuva in a kilometer race by 50 seconds. So let's look at Pallavi and Anuva. If Pallavi beats Anuva in a kilometer race by 50 seconds, that means if Pallavi is taking T seconds to cover a distance of 1000 meters, then Anuva will take 50 seconds more. So, Anuva will take T plus 50 seconds. So, Pallavi beats Anuva by 50 seconds means Anuva completes the race 50 seconds after Pallavi and Richa by 450 meters. The second part means when Pallavi has done 1000 meters, Richa has done Four, uh, 550 meters. Okay. Richa has done 450 meters less. Pallavi beats Richa by 450 meters. That means Richa has done 550 meters. 1000 minus 450. Next part of the statement. If Anuva and Richa run a race, Anuva wins by 40 seconds. Now, Anuva completes the race in T plus 50 seconds. That means Richa will complete the 1000 meter race in T plus 90 seconds. Okay. 
because anuva wins by 40 seconds that means richard takes 40 seconds more than anuva to complete the race okay how much time does richard take to run a kilometer okay now let's look at pallavi and richard now we know that speed is inversely proportional to time so if i have two people out here pallavi and richard speed of pallavi upon speed of richard should be equal to reciprocal of the time taken time by richa upon time of pallavi let's try to apply this do we know the ratio of speeds no we do not know the ratio of speed but we know the ratio of distance and ratio of distance is the same as ratio of speed so we can say speed of pallavi upon speed of richa is equal to 1000 by 550 which is nothing but 20 by 11 so speed of pallavi upon speed of richa is 20 by 11 Similarly, we have the ratio of time out here. So let's apply that in this particular equation. So speed of Pallavi to speed of Richa, which is equal to 20 by 11, should be equal to inverse ratio of the time taken by them. So time taken by Richa is t plus 90 upon t. Solving this, you will get t is equal to 110. second okay so what is this t t is the time taken by pallavi to finish the race it is 110 seconds what we need to find how much time does richa take to run the race richa will take 110 plus 90 t plus 90 t plus 90 makes it 200 seconds correct answer is choice c 200 seconds move to the next question Question seven: A man starts moving at seven a.m. uphill on a road of length twenty-five kilometers and reaches the top by traveling at ten kilometers per hour. Next day, he starts the downhill journey at seven a.m., moving at fifteen kilometers per hour. Where will he be at the same point of time as he was the day before? Looks complicated, but let's just try to understand the data and look at it again. A man goes uphill. he starts at 7 am and he goes up at the rate of 10 km per hour next day the man starts moving downhill and he again starts at 7 am but this time his speed is 15 km per hour the question says where will he be at the same point of time as he was on the day before let me just change the construct of the question a little we get confused in this question because this is day 1 and this is day 2 let me change the question and say one person is going up at the rate of 7 uh, 10 km per hour another person starts coming down at the rate of 15 km per hour on the same day both of them start at the same time both of them start at the same time 7 am So at 7 a.m. one person starts going up for the hill at 10 kilometers per hour, and at 7 a.m. another person starts coming down the hill at 15 kilometers per hour. The question is effectively saying when or where will they meet. So if the question is structured in this way that where will these two meet, it becomes an easy question. So this question effectively is, can be constructed to say that one person is going uphill at the rate of 10 kilometers per hour. another person is coming downhill at the rate of 15 km per hour both of them start at the same time where where well on the path will they meet okay so the total distance between the two points the length of the road is 25 km so if the distance is 25 km the speeds are 10 and 15 so the latest speed becomes 25 km so the time taken will become 1 hour they meet after 1 hour of starting after 1 hour of starting that means they meet at 8 am after one hour of starting that means 15 km from the top they will be meeting at 15 km from the top or 10 km from the bottom so choice a becomes the correct answer this question a similar question actually has come in cat so just make sure you understand the concept clearly question 16 a job is done by 10 men in 20 days and 20 women in 15 days how many days will it take for 5 men and 10 women to finish the work 10 men can do a piece of work in 20 days 
this implies the total amount of work is 200 man days or one man working for 200 days will finish the work. Similarly, 20 women finish the same work in 15 days. That means the amount of work is 300 women days or, 300, or one woman working for 300 days will finish the work. Since the amount of work in both the same cases is the same because the same job which is being done by both that means we can say 200 man days is equal to 300 women days. All which implies two men will do the same amount of work as much as three women or two women are equivalent to three women. Okay. Okay. All one man will do amount equal to one and a half women. Okay. The question is how many days will it take for five men and 10 women to complete the work. We know that one man is equivalent to 1.5 women, 3 by 2. That means these 5 men can effectively be replaced with 5 into 3 by 2 or 7.5 women. So 5 men and 10 women are effectively equivalent to 17.5 women. So the question effectively is 20 women do a piece of work in 15 days. In how many days? Will 17.5 women complete the same piece of work? It will be 20 into 15 upon 17.5. Again, this is uh, so the number of days required would become 200 into 15 into 175. So 25 into 8, 25 into 7. So 120 by 7, which is equal to 17.1 by 7. Correct answer, choice B. The key thing was this. Can, so whenever we have questions like this, can, convert everything either in terms of number of men or in terms of number of women. So your task first of all is to find the ratio between the two, how many men are equivalent to how many women, then convert everything into either number of men or number of women and then get the answer. Question 18. A, B and C can do a job in 15 days. After working with B and C for 5 days, A leaves. Then B and C finish it in 20 days more. In how many days can A do the job alone? Let us look at this question in two different ways. Okay. Let me take the easier or the simpler method first. But obviously that will be a little time consuming. Let me assume the quantity of work. Okay. Or the amount of work. Let me assume the amount of work to be LCM of 15, 5, and 20. These are the three days which are mentioned. So let me look at the number which is a multiple of all three. So let me say the amount of work or quantity of work is 60 units. Okay. Now A, B and C can finish the piece of work in 15 days which means they will do 4 units per day. Okay. So after working with B and C for 5 days. So A, B, C work together for 5 days. Or in other words, in these 5 days, they will do 20 units of work. But the total amount of work was 60 units. So the amount of work which is to be done by the other two alone is 40 units. Okay. This implies that in 20 days, B and C will be able to do 40 units of work. Or B plus C will do 2 units per day. 40 units in 20 days, it is 2 units per day. So now we know that A, B and C working together are able to do 4 units per day. While B and C working together are able to do 2 units per day. Which implies that A working alone will do 2 units per day. Since the amount of work is 60 units, amount of work is 60 units. A is able to do 2 units per day. That means the number of days taken by A to complete the work alone is going to be 30 days. Okay. This is one simple way of solving this question. But this question could have been done much faster if we just get back to the basic concepts of ratios. Let me just erase this slide and create space for working. Okay, yeah. Now let's look at the question again. A, B and C and see they can do the piece of work in 15 days. 
so that means in 5 days a b and c will be able to do one third of the work because they work together for 5 days so in the 5 days when they are working they have finished one third of the work so the remaining work which is two third has has been done by b and c in 20 days so if two third of the work is taking b and c 20 days that means the complete work total work will be done by b and c in 30 days so b and c are together able to do the work in 30 days a b and c take 15 days to complete the work this implies a alone will take 30 days to complete the work so this could have been easier and faster but obviously this assumes you are comfortable with fractions and reciprocals. If you are not then the first one is a better way. Even if you are not very comfortable you could have started from here. It's like saying B and C are able to do the piece of work in 20 days. A, B and C do the piece of work in 15 days. Let me assume A does piece of work in X days. So then you could have said X into 30 upon 30 plus X is equal to 15 which implies 30x is equal to 450 plus 15x or x is equal to 30. So you could have then used this formula. What is this formula? If, if two people are there, one person can do a piece of work in x days, another person can do a piece of work in y days, the same piece of work in y days, then working together they will complete the work in x upon y, x, point, x into y upon x plus y days. If the same piece of work can be finished by first person in X days, second person in Y days, then the number of days required for both of them to be working together to complete the work will be XY upon X plus Y. That's the simple formula that we have applied here. Let's move to the last question of this exercise. Question 19. Raghu, Ram and Rahim can finish up projecting 22, 33 and 44 days respectively. How soon can they finish the project if they work jointly? Okay, let's solve the question. Raghu takes 22 days to complete, Ram 33 and Rahim 44 days to complete the piece of work. So we can say in one day, they will do 1 by 22 plus 1 by 33 plus 1 by 44 of the work. Or the number of days required for them to complete the work will be reciprocal of this. Okay. Not a difficult thing, but yes, I am sure some of you will not be very comfortable with the calculation. But if you are comfortable with the percentages or reciprocal, then you can do it reasonably fast. Let's look at how. You have Raghu, Ram and Zahim. Raghu does the piece of work in 22 days. Ram does it in 33 days. And Zahim does it in 44 days. So, what percentage of the work can be done by Raghu in one day? So, in one day, Raghu will do 1 by 22 of the work. But what is 1 by 22 in percentage terms? 1 by 11, 1 by 11 is 9.09 percent. .09%. So, 1 by 22 will be 4.54 percent. .04%. Similarly, 1 by 33 will be 3.5. 0.3%. One third of 1 by 11 is 1 by 33. And 1 by 44 will be half of this. So, Raghu will do 4.54% of the work per day. Similarly, Zaheem will do 1 by 33 which is 3.03% .03 of the work per day. And Zaheem will do 1 by 44 of the work per day 1 by 44 half of that will be 2.27 2.27% of the work per day so if the three of them are working together the amount of work done by them together will be 9.84% okay so together they will do 9.84% of work per day so i can say my answer has to be greater than 10 days because if they were doing 10% of the work in the day, then my answer would have been exactly 10 days. So among the choices, I can easily say my answer is choice A. Now I can do the question this way because the choices are not close to each other. If the choices were closer, 
then obviously this would not have been a very good method. For example, if the choices were 10 2 by 13, 10 5 by 13, 10 1 by 13, not a good method, uh, not a good choice of using percentages, then even if it takes a great amount of time, this is what you should be doing. But because in this question the choices are not closed, we can work straight in percentage terms and get the answer faster. Let's move to the third exercise now. 